I have to put this on. Never mind. Today, I am actually going to be using a spritzer bottle and a cloth. I don't have the cloth right now. Here's my cloth. My coffee's here. Wiping down the leaves of this Monstera because throughout the summer, it's been in like three different places in our house. It's collected some dust. On YouTube, this is Justin and I'm here. <laughs> yeah. He the 26th is Justin's birthday and he will be 35. Yeah, right. I'll be more like 52. Here is no. you guys. Just like Booty's still in his teens. <laughs> shake, shake, shake. No, I'm not putting that in there. <laughs> Your head's cut off anyway. Good. The aerial roots that come up above the ground and there's some of the roots are still in the ground. Baby leaves. He's trying to open up some. I actually had to remove a stem because it was damaged. And out of that stem, it's coming those two leaves and that tiny baby one coming up. It's really hard to get this in frame because this plant is so big. It goes all kinds of ways. I need to put in another moss stake. I'm letting this grow out like that because after I take this cutting off, then I will readjust and have them grow upwards. They're kind of viney and they like to have something sturdy to climb up on. This one you can tell is completely splitly. I still believe he's got some more splits to go. This one is working on it. Got two little holes like his eye. Some of them don't have any splits at all. I haven't figured out when they decide to change. I think that they just do on their own. Overall he's doing really well as far as growth. We always want to make sure that the leaves are clean because that helps with their oxygen. I mean, nobody wants to see yucky foliage. Dust them just like you dust your house, right? Some people don't. Some people don't, which I won't judge you if you don't dust your plants. Say bye to the husband. Bye, husband. <laughs> what? You said say bye to the husband. See you in a little while. And the dog. I'm pretty sure that you can see me through all of the stems and sticks and stuff. So I have my spray bottle, Mr. Mr. Oh, my dog really likes it. I hope he doesn't come over here and wants to get sprayed. And then I have this microfiber dust type cloth. I got it from the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure it was like three for a dollar in a pack or something. Use whatever type of cloth that you want. You want to use a soft cloth because you don't want to damage your leaves. <laughs> When you're wiping your leaves, you wanna make sure that you have support in the back. If you don't, you could end up breaking the leaf and that would be really, really sad. Oh no, guys, we have a damaged leaf. He's kind of brown, but we'll see what happens. So I'm wondering how many of you actually do this with your plants? Like you wipe them down or you spray them down? And how often do you do it? I would like to know, leave it in the comments below. I really wanna know if you guys do this. Or am I the only crazy person who spends, I don't know, an hour once a week trying to mend and care my plants like this. I'm pretty sure if you're a plant person, you do the same thing. Like inspect each leaf on a particular plant. And if so, what plant is that that you guys do this on? All right guys, that's it. That's all I have for you. Just make sure that you wipe down your leaves, your foliage, all of your plants. You spritz them every so often so that they can get that feeling that they're outdoors like they're getting rained on or something you see it whenever you go to the grocery store you know they have that little thing you know what i'm talking about please give it a thumbs up because i don't want to look like i'm silly but you know they do it in the grocery store if you don't have a monstera deliciosa that's okay but i highly encourage you to get one i just think that they're the most amazing plant and they have split leaves and they're also called swiss cheese plant or split leaf philodendron but i like the name monstera deliciosa and as a fun fact they actually do grow their own fruit that's edible. I think that's pretty cool. Mine has not grown any fruit that's edible, but I'm pretty sure if it's in its native tropical environment, it probably will. The split leaf philodendron monstera deliciosa swiss cheese plant it has so many different varieties of leaves first starts off as just like a little plain leaf and then it goes to like something that looks like this and then eventually it gets to be all split that's kind of like how our life is we think that we're going to be shaped one way and everything but then life gets thrown at us we get pulled and tangled we get holes we get bruised we get hurt this this leaf this type of plant is always changing it always surprises me and overall that's how life is don't be afraid of change we're not going to be here forever we're mortal beings so just accept it we go through all of these crazy transformative experiences in our life and in the end of our life whenever it's our time to leave this earth we have had so many different experiences that 
we carry on whether it be good or bad we all learn from all different lessons and we keep growing and developing and changing and and it's just awesome so we end up being a beautiful beautiful creature with all different types of experiences and that is what life is about if you enjoyed this type of video give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below i would love to hear from you guys subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and if you are a subscriber make sure that you hit the notification bell so that way you know when i upload but i will always upload two times a week lifestyle video that incorporates my dog who's actually sleeping right now and also a faith and foliage video which is what I'm doing right now. Just live sagaciously, live simply, enjoy your life. I have plans.